Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to another session of Face to Face to Online Transition. In today's session, we will be looking at how to create this cool 3D slide with music and use it as a welcome slide right before our meetings or as a transition slide in between our meetings, just in case we need the quick break. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. In order to create that cool 3D animated slide, all you have to do is go to PowerPoint and click on Design Ideas. And as soon as you click, PowerPoint is suggesting all these ideas for you. I like the first one. It's really cool and has that 3D effect, but I want something with a coffee cup. So let me go ahead and type that. I'm just going to say meeting starts at 4 p.m. I'm going to click enter and I'm going to delete this extra text box and I'm going to wait for PowerPoint to suggest. And within a matter of seconds, it did suggest this cool coffee cup with steam coming out of it. I think I like that. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And here it's been downloaded. Let me play that for you. There you see, I like it. But if you want to change the font size, go ahead, change the font size to what you want, move it around. I think I like this one. I'll keep this one. And I also want to add audio to my slide. Just when I'm playing, students have that cool soothing effect. So I'm going to go ahead, click insert, click on audio. I did download something and this is what I want to play. So I have this in my download folders and I'm going to click and insert. And let me play this. Yeah, this is one I want to play. I'm going to drag it all the way down here and I'm going to right click and click the style. I want it to play in the background. So I'm going to say play in the background and I want it to start automatically. So I'm going to go ahead and click start automatically. Now let me go ahead and check in my slideshow. I'm going to click on slideshow, begin slideshow. Yes, this works perfectly. I'm going to stop and I'm going to go ahead and save this on my desktop. Please make sure you have this saved and opened up in your desktop before your meeting starts. That way, when you start your Teams meeting, you can simply go ahead and pick your PowerPoint presentation. Now, there are various ways. If you don't want to have a coffee cup, go ahead, experiment with PowerPoint. It will give you all these new creative ideas. Let's say you did not like this. Go ahead, open up a brand new PowerPoint and type in nature and see what comes up. Click on design ideas. And there you have it, this cool 3D nature effect. Maybe you want to have this as your slide before or after or in between your meeting. So go ahead, experiment with PowerPoint. Use this design ideas. I really enjoy using this and I think they are very creative and they suggest based on what we type in. So once you decided what you want, once you have everything, now let's go ahead into our Teams meeting and see how we can do that. Before you start your Teams meeting, please make sure that your PowerPoint presentation is up and running. Now let's go into my Teams and initiate a meeting. I'm gonna click Join now. So once you are in your Teams meeting, go ahead, click on Share Content, check Include Computer Sound, and click on your PowerPoint presentation. The most important step is to click on your slideshow, set up your slideshow and check the second box that says browsed by individual window. That way your students are only seeing this particular window and you will still be able to access everything else just in case you want to look up something or you want to do something else during before or after your meeting. So once this is done, go ahead, click on start from the beginning. And as you can see, <laughs> let me decrease the volume. As you can see, I can increase and decrease the windows and my students will be seeing only this particular window while you can still access something else behind the scene. 
I usually use this feature when I have to transition between classes or if I have to look up a student's grade or assessments. I really enjoy this feature. I hope you learned something new today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you like, subscribe, and if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so. There could be an educator who might really use this feature to take a quick break before, after, or during the meetings. And always remember, happy teaching, and please take care of yourself.